Welcome back, 47 gang, gang, gang. <laughs> hey, hey, y'all. All right. So today's video is going to be, now my camera is setting a little bit different. I had to change the tripod that is holding my phone because I broke the other one by accident. So I got a new one and it's, I don't know, it might be better this way. I don't know. But I just wanted to put that on note. But um, I'm here today because, hunty, I told you guys a couple of times, somebody asked me to do a video and I will have to look to see who that person was because I don't remember because this was some time. It might have been year before last. These years are going by so fast. Asked me to do a video on my most complimented bath and body work fragrance mist. So I'm bringing this video to y'all today. But before I start this video, I'm going to go over the last inches of Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret semi-annual sales. Now, I wasn't supposed to go back, right? I was not. But the only reason why I went is because I went in the store. I know you guys seen that I had got, I think you guys did, that I had got satin slipper. Honey, when I smelled this again, and it has notes of white rose, dreamy jasmine, and airy musk, I said I need another bottle. So I went back to Bath and Body Works yesterday, which is today is January today's 17th. I believe SAS ended yesterday. Or no, it ended before that. I don't remember what the end date cap was that they had put out in the beginning, but it ended before that. I went in there yesterday and they didn't have no more 75% off stuff. But they had the new stuff on display and all the new little dot, 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 dots and whatever. So since I could not find that, <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all what I did grab. Plus I went, no, when I grabbed this, I don't think y'all know that I had grabbed satin slipper. But the day that I grabbed that, I went in there because um, I wanted to get some things for two of my friends. So I grabbed that. But I'm going to tell y'all what I grabbed last night. Then I'm going to tell y'all what I grabbed that day. And then we'll go on with this video. So I have rewards. And for some reason, when I have rewards, only thing I think about getting is body sprays. And I said to myself, wait a minute, I can use my rewards to get a wallflower plug in because I need a new one. So that's what I did. This one was $16.95 and it has the lemons and it looks like this. So I bought a new wallflower because I'm crazy about these things. I keep one in my bathroom. And so, yeah, I wanted a new one. So other than that plug-in, I had another reward, and I said, Woo! Child, I'll be done drop something on this floor. Y'all know it ain't no carpet in here, honey. And I said, why not buy some plug-ins? So the ones that I got is Fiji White Sand. They all smell so good. And y'all know they have the new thing where you can smell the plug-ins. Oh, my gosh. Tiki Beach. Let's see what else is in here. Lemon cello, which I think is perfect for the laundry room or your bathroom or even your kitchen. Um, sheer peach. And I got patchouli and rosewood. So that's what I got last night, right? Since they didn't have what I was looking for, I was like, hey, I was starting to leave with nothing. But I was like, hold on. All right. That's just for video purposes if I decide to use it. So when I went the day on this last week or something, I grabbed fresh vanilla balsam. I don't know if I told y'all about this stuff or not. I can't remember. I grabbed amongst the clouds because I do have the body mist and I didn't have anything to that. I grabbed 
Delilah because I have the spray and this is the lotion. I didn't have anything to that. I grabbed Wild Sands in the body lotion because I have the spray and I did not have anything to that. That was all marked down. I grabbed another strawberry pound cake. I have probably three bottles of this, but hey. I grabbed that because it was 75% off. I grabbed my sister one. And then I got... Okay, maybe I did get two. No. This is ballet slipper. This is the one that I grabbed. Oh, God. This is Satin slipper and ballet slipper, they both smell amazing. And if I could have got another bottle of each, I would have. But like I said, they didn't have it. So, on to what I'm here for. Wait, I lied. So, I went in Victoria's Secret. Just to because, okay. I'm going to tell y'all why I went. I went in Victoria's Secret before when y'all seen the first semi-annual sale video. And I got a spray called Ginger Apple Jewel. I went and got the lotion to it because I was just like... I needed it. Plus, it was only like $5.99 and you can't beat that. I went to get the vanilla bourbon something and they didn't have the lotion. They didn't have the spray. They just had the lotion. So I decided not to get that. I did get the Victoria's Secret Teas Cocoa. Yes. Because I y'all got no, I bought the perfume earlier. When the semi-annual sale for Victoria's Secret started. So this was only like $6.99. So I grabbed this. And then I grabbed this one called Amber Blossom and Oat Milk. And it smells so good. Oh my God. The stuff that you smell and you just be like, I should have got more than one. Because certain smells, I know I will go through them. I will use them. I will put a dent in them. I should have grabbed two of these two. But anyhow... Oh, and they gave me a coupon. Cool. All right. So we are probably about 10 minutes in. We're going to get into this video, y'all. So most complimented bath and body works fragrances for me. So we're going to start with an oldie, but a goodie. And I don't even know if they still have this one. I ain't seen it, so I don't know. It's super duper back in the day. When I got this bottle, the mists were $14. So it's <laughs> called Mad About You. This stuff. This bottle's so old, they wasn't even putting the notes on the bottles yet. So I don't know what the notes in this are, but this is one of my, y'all see it has a dent. I had to control myself from using it because it was the only bottle I had. <sighs> I love this stuff. It smells so good. And when I wear it, I get a lot of compliments from men. So, <laughs> which is interesting. I'm going to have to find out what the notes are in this. Because every time I've worn this and I got a compliment, it was from a man. So, yeah, y'all. Just in case y'all didn't know. Y'all trying to bring them boys out to the yard. <laughs> Mad about you is it. <laughs> All right. Next. One of my favorites is Twilight Woods. Now, Twilight Woods is a winter scent. It's lush berry, sparkling mandarin, soft mimosa, apricot nectar, and cypress woods. This, chow, honey, honey, honey. If you got anything that has berry in it or a berry note, you could layer it with that. Um... I sometimes mix this with Burberry Her, and I did that, uh, it was last year, toward the end of the year, I was going to the grocery store, I mixed this with Burberry Her, and I wore it, and this lady stopped me in a grocery store, and she was like, she went past me, she looked, she backed up, and she said, um, excuse me, she said, I'm not a big perfume wearer, I'm not big i'm not into fragrances like that but she was like you smell good and i need to know what you have on <laughs> and it was this mixed with burberry her 
So yes, this is Twilight Woods. It's one of my absolute faves. Absolute faves. I love it. Next, this should not come as a surprise to y'all, but Champagne, Apple, and Honey is another one of my faves. The notes are crisp apple, sparkling champagne, jasmine, honey, autumn woods. This I always mix with K. Alley's Eden Juicy Apple. Oh my gosh. And I get compliments on this too. Y'all, layer y'all stuff. Because a lot of people say, oh, Bath and Body Works. I'm in a perfume group a fragrance group on facebook and a lot of the girls will say oh i don't wear bath and body works the smells don't last long enough da, da, da. layer your stuff that's what's in now anyways everybody leave a house before they leave a the house they gotta spray on 99 fragrances before they go out the door <laughs> layer your stuff and wear oils like pair oils oils especially if you have like a body oil it's going to hold like the sprays or whatever you spray on sticks to it and it will make it last longer. So that is a good tip. I know a lot of y'all probably already know already, but just in case y'all don't, especially for the ones of y'all that knock Bath and Body Works, honey. Bath and Body Works and step their game up like something cold. They got sprays that is matching some of these designer perfumes out there, honey. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> All right. Next one is Poppy. I love this stuff. What is the Fresh Morning Dew Wild Poppy Sugared Rhubarb and Juicy Pear? So, pears. If you got something that has a pear note, you could put it with this. Um, I usually just wear this on its own. Definitely one that I need another bottle of. Um, yeah, it's just really good. Really, it's just got this girly smell. Not young girl, but girly and honey. Yes, this is still 75% off on the Bath and Body Works website right now. So if you want to catch this, you can catch it. All right, now. Here's one that I get a lot of compliments on, a lot. And this is Warm Vanilla Sugar. Now, this has notes of intoxicating vanilla, white orchid, sparkling sugar, fresh jasmine, and creamy sandalwood. Definitely a winter scent. And a little gourmandish at that. Now, with this one, I do have the warm vanilla sugar body oil that I got and I pair those two together and honey, that is all their age. I get compliments from a lot of women with this one. A lot of women be like, oh, you smell good what you got on girl. <sighs> Definitely something I need another bottle of. I don't think I have but one bottle of this, but it is not discontinued so i know i'll be able to find it again but yes if you have what's something else that pairs good with this um i've worn this with billy eilish i've worn this with choco must and they both pair with it really good but one of my favorite things to do is just to pair it with the warm vanilla sugar body oil that i have so good so so good oh my gosh all right now, this one right here is Captain Mighty Thong. Everybody know about Vanilla Bean Noel. I have that on right now. Now, if you got anything that has a vanilla note in it, you can easily mix it with this one. I will pair this with this. And this is a famous combination. This is the EOS Vanilla Cashmere lotion and i need to get another one because mine is, is getting there honey but this right here screenshot this especially if you straight out the shower honey and you got a man 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 you got that my man my man my husband my husband and you want to smell good vanilla bean noel smells very good straight out the shower while your body is still hot 
spray it on just go crazy with it because this is one that you always going to be able to get a backup of because they have it at every semi-annual sale at the end of the year and they always have a big overstock of it a lady smelt this in the store one of the times when i was in there uh at the sale she was like "Ooh, that stinks child child what vanilla b noel is the business honey the absolute business <sighs> child Fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookie, whipped cream, and snow-kissed must. This is also a good one to pair with chocolate must as well. I don't have my chocolate must over here, but um, if y'all seen my Middle Eastern fragrance video, the very first one I did, chocolate must is in that video. You can find chocolate must on Amazon. I will try to link it down below for y'all to find it. But chocolate must pairs with a lot of stuff very, very well, and it's super duper inexpensive. A bottle probably will cost you about ten to twelve dollars, maybe even less, and it is so worth it, y'all. But this is vanilla bean Noel. All right. This one here is called Sapphire Moon. I got this bottle last, was it last year? No, we in 21. It was the year before last. And this one has sparkling pear, sheer freesia, and moonlight musk. I got this. And then when I thought about it, I was like, why did I not get another bottle of it? They did have this on 75% off online, but they did not have it 75% off in the store. It wasn't even in the store in my area this year, um, but I don't think it's on there anymore. I would have to check, but check and see y'all because this is definite compliments, compliments, compliments. Musk is so good. Um, I have... A Middle Eastern fragrance called Root Owl Musk. Pair it, honey. Pair it. Ciao. I'm going to have to put the layering videos on my Instagram for y'all. Pair it. It's so good. And that Root Owl Musk sticks to your skin for a long time. I'm talking about five, six hours, honey. That Root Owl Must is in my last Middle Eastern fragrance video. I will post that video in here. But this is Sapphire Moon. All right. So this one is new to me. I haven't had it for very long. And it's called Jolly Gingerbread Village. Now, y'all, I have two bottles of this. We wasn't playing. I grabbed me two bottles. I got my sister this as a gift um, this year. Um... And she loves it. Ciao. Oh my gosh. Golden gingerbread, vanilla, icicle, and yuletide timber. Vanilla. This can also pair with this. You need this in your life. I'm going to tell you that now. You need it. It's so good. And it pairs with so many things. About seven to eight dollars at target about yeah and then you can find it at walmart too but i think it's easier to find that target but yeah you need this this eos she butter vanilla cashmere you need it but this right here lasted on me for about five to six hours and i was super duper shook like shook i was like oh no i gotta have another bottle and I got me another bottle. And I got the lotion. Use. That's. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But I don't want to get off topic. As we talking about this. Five, six hours. It lasted. It smells amazing. I got compliments from people of all kinds. Women and men. So, yes. Jolly Gingerbread Village. All right. I have a few more. Of course, I couldn't do this video without throwing Dream Bright in here. And y'all know my disappointment about Dream Bright has been discontinued. You can't find it nowhere no more. I only got this one bottle. They got it on Walmart.com if you want to pay $14 for it. But as far as semi-annual sale price, it's out of there. You will have to go on Macari or somewhere like that to look for it. 
This has um, berries in it, midnight blossom orchid, and crystallizing vanilla. So pair it. You hear that vanilla? Do it. Um, I can't remember what somebody said. It's a high-end perfume that this smells like. And I cannot remember which one it is. Is it um the Carolina Herrera Good Girl? I'm not sure, but I think that's the one that it is. But this, if you guys have this in your collection and you have more than one, bless you. Because I missed the perfume. They marked it all the way down to $14.87. And I missed it. Ciao. So I would hope and wish and wish to think that they are just going to repackage this and bring it out again. They'll probably bring out a clone. You know, they do that sometimes. It won't have the same name, but it'll have the same notes. I don't know. But I'm disappointed about this. I'm still on a hunt. I might just have to get the one off Walmart. I might have to check Macari or I'm in a Bath and Body Works group too. So we're going to find Dream Bright. We're going to find it, sis. <laughs> we got to find it. All right. This one is one of my faves as well. And it's called Rose. This is Airy Rose Water, Jasmine Petals, and Creamy Musk. So this will pair with Root Owl Musk as well. Um, honey, this, I have to, y'all see, I got a dent there. I saw in the store yesterday that they have this in a different packaging. However, when I smelt it, it wasn't giving what this is giving. So I'm gonna have to figure it out again or see if they're different, but I think it's the same one. They just repackaged it. Maybe... My nose just wasn't picking up the smell. Sometimes when you smell, spray a new bottle, you got to spray it a couple times to get the sillage. Maybe that's what it was. But I do need another one of these. Compliments. I, men like this. I was in the mall looking at some jewelry at a jewelry counter. And I had leaned over a little bit. And the guy got a whiff of me. And he was just like, you smell good. What you got on? Honey, conversation, conversation, but this is called Rose. Okay, so I have two, no, three more, and then we will be done. So, of course, I had to put Central Amber in this video. Y'all, this is Golden Amber, Wild Berries, Orange Flower, Lotus Petals, and Creamy Sandalwood. I have what three bottles it is and i will buy another one if i can find it this is so good so good i barely just found out about this what was it last year or the year before and it's been around for a little bit so yeah central amber is just what it is it's that central come here boy smell you trying to pull one real quick Put it on. He'll be all on your neck. Honey, this one brings the boys out to the yard for sure. Hands down. Central Amber. <laughs> all right. This one is called Coconut Cream Pie. Y'all see I got a dent in this too. But this is the only one that I have. I had seen this when this line. I don't remember when it came out. But they had it at semi-annual sale and it was knocked down to 75% off. And this is the only one I found. And I was on a hunt to find this one year. Oh my gosh. This will pair really good with... Cool, what is it called? Quad Al Fasad by Al... I think it's... Is it by Latafa or Al Safra? Quad Al Fasad has cocoa coconut in it if y'all watched my last middle eastern video i talk about that fragrance in here pair it I, coconut gourmand vanilla cream pie when i find this again honey i will be getting another bottle for sure coconut cream pie
All right. Last one out the gate. It's some other ones, but I haven't had enough time with them to put them in this video. So the last one for this video is going to be Into the Stars. Now, Into the Stars has notes of raspberry nor amber crystals, vel velvety rose petals, creamy patchouli, and mocha must. Now, mocha, you might be able to compare to pair this with Chaco Must or even the Billie Eilish perfume. But a lot of people say that this smells like what? YSL Libre? Is this the one that smells like Libre? Um, I left one out actually, but I'll do another video. This, I believe people say, smells like either is this Black Opium or YSL Libre. But you can mix it with those. This is giving designer perfume life all the way. Um, I don't think they're discontinuing this. I haven't heard anything about it. They did put a lot of lotions to this and shower gels on 75% off at my um, Bath and Body Works. But I don't believe this is being discontinued. They might be repackaging in it and they just want to get rid of the old packaging. But this is in to the night honey that's that come here boy 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 okay <laughs> all right y'all i hope y'all enjoyed the video i know it's long honey and hopefully i can get it to upload without a problem but um yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video it took me a minute to put it out Persons who asked for it out there, I got it done for you. I know it took me a while and I'm sorry, but I didn't forget. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, let me know down in the comments. What are some of y'all most complimented Bath and Body Work scents? And yeah, y'all, I will see y'all on the next one. If you're not a subscriber, click that subscriber button. Become a part of 47 Gang, 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 Gang. <laughs> and yeah, y'all, stay blessed. Stay positive, stay motivated, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye, y'all.